Hello everybody, it's Chet Talking Near Kill, and I am back with another episode of Chrono Clock. And I brought somebody along this time. Dondre! Oh, that was that my cue? Well, oh, was I supposed to introduce myself? God. But yeah, Korokon's here too, because. Hi, how you doing? Reasons. <laughs> Literally just upon our whims, we we're gonna do Chrono Clock together this episode. <laughs> so, that's all that. That's all that good stuff. Well, let's get into it. Oh boy. Huh. Oh yeah, so anybody you want a voice? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? What do you want from me? No, it's all you, buddy. Alright, cool. This is DD we're talking about. I wasn't I'm sure she wasn't implying anything. Anyway, what kind of perpetual servanthood did you have in mind? Uh, naturally. Na naturally, you know, of course. <sighs> Should have guessed it. Whoa! It's not that hard. No, I'm just a little surprised you'd rather keep being a maid. I mean, don't you want to go to university? Thank you, uh, oh, Too much work, man. Too much work. Jeez. Hey, now. Yeah, see, oh, yeah. See, see, it's too much work. I'm doing it. 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 I'm I see. That's fair enough. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, she probably will have to go home once she graduates. She already achieved her goal of meeting her fiance by now. That's a weird analogy, Dee Dee. I just. But okay. Andre, you have to speak up. So you can't hear I'm you. I'm trying to speak as loud as humanly possible. Speak louder. It, it can't be helped, my friend. Skype sucks. Ah! Louder. Now, I'm going to pick the most favorite thing to choose. And that's being a maid, right? That was being an otaku. The maid. The otaku. Maid, yes. I mean, we could use a maid for the chotakus, man. I mean, no, no, you I, know, I, I have could a use maid. help editing. No, no, I have a maid. You don't have a maid. I, I, I have a maid? Kawakami, can't you forget? I have a better maid. Who actually does her job. Oh, that's that's some fighting words. Those are, this that is fighting words. That's, that ramen was delicious. That's the one thing I think she actually done as a maid. Usually she just sleeps. You you haven't seen. You haven't seen everything. You weren't there. I, I I've seen every episode. I've seen everything. She, she works for her pay, damn it. By being adorable. Keep reading your thing. I'm just saying. <laughs> damn. Damn my turk boy. And damn I have my a, turk boy. And I have a living maid. Ah. Ah. <laughs> wow. Just wait, just wait till you see the new episode, just wait. <laughs> Recorded three today. Jeez. You're behind now, boy, you don't even know. <laughs> it was a little embarrassing to hear her say that to my face. Yeah, man, it was embarrassing. Shut now up! Behind. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wanted to be my be by my side from now on too. <laughs> I agree. True that. True that. You really are taking food as a huge consideration, I see. Yes! Alright. I suppose <laughs> when it comes to three basic necessities of life, you just can't skip out on one of them. At four, being an otaku? They say home is where you hang your hat. Wherever you must, wherever you may settle down, can certainly affect how well you're able to live. 
considering it. No, uh, probably. More or less. I've already decided where I like to go to, but. So I'll probably aim for that. It's not really something I dream or aspire for like you do. It's more like something I'm obligated to do. Just like real life! Didi then clapped her hands together. Remember we went to the beach before? I was thinking about that. Well, I gotta bring that up again. Yeah, I want I kinda wanna go down to Makoto route. I wanna see where did she get that monster strength from? I'm curious as fuck. Uh she's a Yakuza? I mean no no Yakuza could throw a man fucking like fifty feet into the air. Uh with some proper training, I'm sure somebody could. It's all, all right, about though, training your, it's all about training your body. Ha! Huh. I'm just saying. It's possible. Mm. Why? Because mm. she's a girl, Donje? Huh? You sexist? Yeah. Yeah. yeah keep the, wait, no woman is able to do that. The only thing they're able to push that hard is the grocery cart. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn! That was bad even for me. <laughs> <laughs> we hear the Chetakus. At least near Kung Ghost Bear. Respect all women in what's alive. Yeah, hell, we have, yeah, see guys, we have a girl in our group, so we're fine. Th that's not how it works! W well, we're all black, so we make a b bunch of black jokes, so that's fine too. No, I don't! <sighs> fine scenes. You can't prove anything. Anyway, hey, DD. I never knew. I never knew I could have flown that far myself. Nah, I wasn't experiencing a specific moment in time. More like, I was just caught up in the general feeling of the whole thing. I'm flying through the air. That reminds me, Dede. Have you been doing alright since then? I'm still groggy. Likely because the whole experience left me somewhat exhausted. I mean, it is summer. I'm <laughs> fine. Are you sure? All of a sudden, Didi pressed her fingers against my lips. Oh, it was soft, yet cold to the touch. But you seem like you're gonna get sick, and you're gonna die, and I'm gonna have another Your Lie in April moment, and then I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, right. I'm getting so many Your Lie in April feels, some clan ad mixed in there too. Oh man, oh, I made myself sad. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> She smiled ever so gently, ever so kindly. <laughs> Although Dee Dee had touched her fingers to my lips to keep me from talking, she did not pull it away immediately. My gaze was fixated only on her. If my lips moved in the slightest, they would be parted from Dee Dee's touch. <laughs> Dee Dee's smiling visage was directly before me. Leaning forward, she moved ever closer toward my lips. And then, I could feel my heart stand still. I wasn't able to think anymore. So right now, I was able to do what I was yearning for. Didi. Kusujin-sama? Are they kiss? I don't know. Shut up! <laughs> let it count. Just let the moment flow. Damn it. God, it's all just big pause now. <laughs> I love messing things up. Taking Didi by the hand, I moved her finger away from my lips. And then, still clutching her by the arm, my face gently drew closer to hers. This is the time for us alone. <gasps> Didi. My face was reflected in Didi's eyes. And only for a fleeting moment. Her eyelids closed, blocking the reflection. In contrast with the small gesture, she showed no resistance. In fact, she seemed more than willing to accept me. A breeze stirred. Didi's sweet fragrance drifted through the air. 
I could feel her warmth through the gentle contact of her lips. Finally, progress on my route. Ah! Uh... Oh man, made route good to go. <laughs> Before I realized it, the distance between us became reduced to nothing. It was such a gentle, soft, and pleasant sensation. Our surroundings faded into the distance. My heart was beating as though it were trying to leap out of my chest. Oh no, and then his heart stopped. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Stop ruining everything! <laughs> my house showed you. Not up in here! Our lips parted slightly as we each regained control of our breathing. All the sounds in our vicinity sounded miles away. I wanted more. I wanted to kiss Didi even more. <sighs> Her calling out to me brought me back to my senses. Uh, uh. Didi's face was close enough to brush against my own. Within her moistened eyes lay a blurred reflection of myself. <sighs> Then, uh, then, all of a sudden, came a rush of blood to Dee Dee's head. Even in the redness of the evening sun, the redness of her face was plain to see. <laughs> How should I say it? Uh, the mood was right. Y yeah. Who is this? Who is this? I mean, you were kind of going along with it too. Uh... Didi's cheeks were as red as an apple. As I was looking at her, I became aware of how much my own face was burning up as well. Suddenly, I felt incredibly embarrassed for doing that without thinking. Above that, there was a feeling of happiness. Yeah, right. I got a little too caught up in the moment. One could certainly say I jumped the gun. Didi has certainly been honest with how she felt about me. But up until now, I hadn't returned her feelings in the slightest. I ought to have told her how I felt and started a proper relationship with her before the thought of kissing her even crossed my mind. <laughs> if only things ever actually went that smoothly for anybody ever. Definitely not right? here. Right, if this was uh, an anime, this would have been like the last episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. God damn. Uh, yeah? Okay, now what? I'm sorry, I thought like they were already dating. Mmm. Sort of. Sort of. I guess they were just kind of like. I guess they were just kind of like seeing each other, but now it's exclusive, you know? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Uh. Well, I mean, this protagonist definitely takes after you, Mike. You know, kiss him before already in a relationship. FUCK OFF! <laughs> I can't hear you over Didi talking. Didi, just cool it for a second. <laughs> Adorable. I know that, but there's something I wanted to tell you. While Didi remained flustered, I took her by the hand. Holding her hand like that while staring directly into her eyes finally allowed her to calm down. I totally screwed up the order of things here, but I wanted to tell you something. Hi! Didi. Dorothy Davenport, 
I'm in love with you. Aww. This doesn't have anything to do with our engagement either. I'm head over heels in love with you. <laughs> Aww. I could tell my own voice was quivering. My face was practically on fire and sweat ran down my back. But I managed to come out and, out and just tell her. Yeah, fuck off! <laughs> Who responds thank you, but I mean, there she goes. At that moment, I felt like I could scream. Sawatari Rei-kun ga Quickly with it. Wait a minute! Hi! Didi was smiling. She seemed happy, but something was wrong. I swear, if you die! No. <clears throat> no. The fact that she denied the, 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 the relationship, dude, that's that's a death flag right there. I know it's a death flag! One. I played games and I like look, look at it! It's right there! Look how big it is! Look Shut how big up. it is, Mike! Shut up! It's huge! Shut up! I know! I know! They're gonna, she's gonna knock it over! This next phrase! She's gonna hit it! Shut it's up! It's gonna be the final nail in her already pre-made coffin! I'll kill you! You stop She'll it. die before then! Go away! Why are you even here? <laughs> I didn't mean you wanted this. I wanted to mess with your- I wanted to mess with your- Your series, not you messing with mine! Just that your computer setup sucks! Hey, 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 it's not the setup. It's Elgato. It's not yeah. She really didn't seem beside herself when she apologized. You love me, but you can't go out with me? What did you mean by that? <laughs> if it is anything besides I'm going home. Hmm? <laughs> Only if you want to. Also, I'm sorry for kissing you like that. Huh? She's happy about the kiss? The confession too. And yet, she can't go out with me? Sorry, I think my brain's melting or something. I can't process what you're saying. Are you against engagement or have you come to dislike me or... I'm not gonna deny main route, best route, both games, Persona and Quarter Clock. We are, we are combined, me and your brothers, Mike, and our love for maids. It's all good. Just, just, <laughs> just, 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 just let my Your Lie in April play out. Just, just it'll... <sighs> I'll get the piano ready, buddy. I'll get the piano ready. Goddamn. Didi shook her head gently. 
Her gentle smile still unwavering. いい名付けとして憧れてその関係を続けられるだけでよかったんですそうしないといけなかったんです But why? You can't go out with me because you're in love with me? I, I don't understand えー、っと I tightened my grip on her hand just slightly and told her my honest feelings My gaze at Didi was even more sincere than when I confessed to her. <laughs> After a moment, Didi let the tension drain from her body. Her smile was not one of happiness, but of resignation. So, this is. I was going to be a little bit of 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 a little Shut up! Shut up! Topple. Huh? Umare tsuki karada ga yuakte. Naizo to ka shinzo to ka ka dame dame nandes. Sono se de karada o go kasta futa ga kicha on des. What? Just a damn minute. My head was filled with shock and confusion. All the same, I wanted to make sure I wasn't misinterpreting the simplistic declaration Didi had just given. I took a few deep breaths so that I wouldn't just start rambling in a panic when, and spoke again. Are you saying I can't go out with you because you don't have much time left to live? Yes. I didn't have to be to be a kid. そのせいで、あんまりお外で遊ばせてもらえなかったんですよね。おかげで、インドアな趣味が増えちゃいました。<笑> so that's how it is. She loved physical activities, but she was in no condition for them. Under that bright, sunny disposition on the surface lay someone whose hobbies linked toward introversion. むしろここまで元気に育ったのが奇跡だったみたいですね。Then answer me something. Why would you come here to Japan if you were in that sort of condition? Wouldn't it be better to be with your family rather than living in a place you aren't familiar with? <笑>それはもうお伝えしたじゃありませんか。Told me what? 日本のことを調べたり、来てみたかった理由ですよ。Eater reply with a smile, devoid of energy. いい名付けのプロミスが、グランパたちの冗談だということは分かってます。だけど、年頃のガールとして、いい名付けという存在はロマンがありますし、一度はお会いしたかったんです。She had indeed said that before. But in light of this revelation about Dee Dee's life circumstances, it took a wholly new meaning. Would someone really travel halfway around the world to meet a fiance they don't know? That's what I said to myself the day we, met, we first met. I can't even imagine how you feel. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I'm gonna be put in the hospital after this one. I'm done. <laughs> this hurts. I gotta watch this twice because I'm editing this shit. I gotta watch this twice, Mike. <laughs> That's the true pain of the situation. Oh. <laughs> It l i s t e n to h e l l one more time. So that's her answer. What the hell? I can't even hear you. I'm sorry. No, no, I. Can I jump the gun there myself? I guess we're even. I can't even hear you. I'm sorry. 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 I can't even hear you. A myriad of complex feelings swirled around within me. 
I was distraught, confused, and in denial about what I just heard. But with Didi's attitude about it, denial was not an option for me. Hey Didi, if I can't deny it, I guess I'll just have to accept it. Could we try to calm down a little before we talk about this any further? Right now, I doubt either of us really have the capacity to think this through. Especially me. I didn't even know what to say. So this so I'm going home ahead of me. I just need to clear my head for a bit first. Did you show no hint of worry or disappointment? I suppose this was something she'd been prepared to talk about for a long time. So if I were to just get panicky in front of her right now, I'd totally look pathetic. Even if she was physically frail, the last thing I wanted to do was wallow in despair about it. Such was what I convinced myself. I watched Dee Dee leave and verified that she left the school grounds before standing up from my own seat. Soon after, I opted to drag out my usual commute home by taking the monorail in the opposite direction I usually did. I needed just a little bit more time to process this. Sanninda. Shut up, girl! Oh, she know. Oh. Girl appeared out of nowhere and muttered that phrase to me. What's that supposed to mean? Dee ga shinu made no jikan da. Just when I was trying to calm myself down here. I thought she had longer than that. Jesus Christ. Hey, Anani. Kizuita no ano umibeda no kotona no daba. Dee Dee ga do ste wagahai o miru koto ga dekiru ka kini wa na te ita ga. Ano na go. Very That's really fucked. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. really fucked yeah, up. Put that really subtle like. Mada Jushin wa kochiragawa no yoda ga. Masa ni jikan no mondai daro. Thanks for telling me. Honsha shiteiru kao ni wa mien na. I am grateful. This isn't a happy subject at all. But I have nothing but regret if I never knew to begin with. <sighs> She's not even able to think about being an adult, huh? No koto da? Didi told me that earlier. I guess this must be why she doesn't have any dreams in the future. I might be reading into it too much, but I can't help but wonder why, you know? So ka. Her response was a non her response was nonchalant. I somehow had a feeling she was deeply concerned as well. I gazed out the train window, going back to calming myself down. The monorail continued a long track, slowly making its way toward its final destination. At the hands of a clock, slowly but steadily. We too progress our own pace toward our final destination. But before we reach that destination, we must decide on our own lots of life. Wonder has Dee Dee already accepted her own future? Just like I've already accepted my own. Just like how I don't pay any mind to how others may feel about my prosperity. Just like how I'm not troubled by how others take pity on my predetermined destiny. Is that really what she wants? That's the first thing I have to ask Dee Dee. She's already accepted her final destination. There's no point in me worrying about it. Rather, I have to think of a way to prolong her life. That is, a way to allow her to live out her days in happiness. If things are painful for her, I support her with all my heart. How could she live out her precious little time? Was there really nothing I could do? Glancing up at the sky, I clutched a watch in my pocket. The ability to rewind time by five minutes. No matter how you looked at it, for DD, it was an ability with no use whatsoever. Why was it so?
all so, about the bad shit. So the, depressing. Right? The one episode I get to join in is the fucking heaviest one. Why? Well, I gotta bring all this drama. You played this from the start, didn't you, Mike? You played this from the fucking start. You what? wanted to break my heart. Because I've been breaking your spirit with my edits. Uh, 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 no, not even close. But you're an evil mastermind. I, I am. That has nothing to do with your edits. <laughs> uh, why? 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 Why you gotta do this right now? Ten o'clock. Why? It's not even April. It's literally been lighthearted and happy and stupid this entire time. I know there's been signs and everything. I know I've been calling it for a while now, but. <sighs> Now that oh, we're man. actually here. Eh. It's just like my personas. By the time this episode is out, you'll you already know what I mean. Eh, jeez. Whew. Man. <sighs> Shows last series gonna get heavy. It's so hard to do the heavy episodes. It's so hard. I, I I just I just finished recording a big heavy episode just now actually, so oh, we're in the same boat, buddy. <laughs> jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh. As I stepped out into the hallway, I winced at the brightness of the morning sun. These past few days, I've barely been getting any sleep, so I was walking rather sluggishly. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. <laughs> well, I was totally out of it. Turning the corner, I came quite close to bumping into DD. <sighs> My bad, DD. Yeah, morning. Where were you coming? Were you coming to wake me? Yes! Gohan,お時間なので呼びに来ました。ですけど、今日は早起きでしたね。Eh, pretty much. It was just a coincidence, but thanks for coming all the way here. いえいえ、これも私のお役目ですから. I see. Hmm. I heard over there once. Oh, once I washed my face. わかりました。Didi bowed her head slightly, turned around, and headed back to the way she came. They were mannerisms befitting of a maid. But as for whether they were befitting of Didi, that was a little iffy. I suppose I could chalk that up to her excitement for breakfast. Ah, now this is rare. I don't usually see you at this time. So why did you? ご主人とDDのやりとりを見飽きたのでな。近づくでも離れるでもなく、おまけに違和感のある言動を繰り返しているだろう。それを三日も続けているのだから、見ている側として退屈になってくる。It's been three days. Hey, aren't you like immortal? Surely you can't get that sick of something in three days' time. Tokeno it's not like I don't know what to ask. それができぬ理由は聞こうとすると避けられるからか? Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. I want to make that out to be the reason. あからさまに話題にするなと態度に出しているな。それに、ミチルにも聞かれたくなさそうだ。Three days have passed since I first learned the DD's secret. It's still weird with me, and I couldn't even do anything about it. I was paralyzed with confusion, wondering what I could do at all. That day, DD came out to greet me after I returned home later than usual. She held me with her bright, sunny smile as if nothing had happened. Right. My confession. The kiss. As if nothing, as if none of that had ever happened. In fact, Didi's physical affections toward me had been drying up. 
She'd been spending much more time with Michiru instead. And whenever I would try to bring up what happened that day, she would dodge the issue and run away from me. Personally, I felt nothing but perplexion as her behavior about it all. At the same time, I was trying to come to terms with it. How exactly should I approach DD? Now that I know her secret, what do I want to do? I hadn't been able to settle on an answer to either of those questions. Even as I continued to play overly nice with Dee Dee, life went on the same as ever. She was bright and cheerful at school, and seemed to be enjoying herself. She was interacting with her fellow classmates more than ever before. Had she not told me firsthand about the condition she was in, I probably would have never realized it. And even once I did know, considering how active she was, part of me couldn't help but wonder if she was misunderstanding things. Or if I was misunderstanding things. The moment we get back home, she would dive straight into her maid work. She had fun talking with Michiru, enjoying her dinner, and end the day with a smile on her face. Anyone would think she was a living, fulfilling she was living a fulfilling life. But having learned her secret now, I can't help but see the deeper meaning behind it. The reason why Dee Dee always seems to be having so much fun is she does not want to waste a single minute or a single second of the time she has. Her star shone so brightly that it was destined to burn out quickly, so she wanted to enjoy what little time she had left to the fullest. But I couldn't help conjuring up the mental image of a candle burning itself out instead. Nisama. Well, with that, we're all out of time for this episode of Chrono Clock. Oh man. Oh man. It's so heavy. So heavy. Even my even my appearance on the side here episode couldn't really lighten the mood at all, and that's saying something. <laughs> oh. But Damn. I, I know. Seriously. Whew. Well this, I mean, this this is unexpected. <laughs> Truly, nothing goes as planned when me and you try to do things. Right? Why does all the bad shit always happen when we're together, buddy? It's either bad stuff or just weird stuff. <sighs> hmm. Oh, dude, I just thought about our trip to Japan. Oh, God! Weird, weird stuff fucking lives in Japan. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, I didn't never. I didn't think about that. I really. We're probably gonna fucking see a fucking yokai or some shit, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> oh well, man. Well, that's that's a good future thought. Anyway. Oh. Oh man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Chrono Clock. It was a. It was a lot heavier than usual, but it it was a yeah, good episode. I'm kind of a good thing I was here. Ah oh, ah oh, yes, because you know without Dodger, this episode would have been one hundred percent different. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Sarcasm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, what if though? It would have like a little like banter in between all the fucking, fucking angst. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Chrono Clock, Dondre, and mm -hmm. have fun editing this. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh, uh, anyway, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you really liked it. Subscribe and check out the rest of the stuff that we have in our channel. Any, Persona. I was about to say any shameless promotions. All right. Well, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next episode. Donjay. Clear days. Get me out of here. You little. <laughs> ご主人様に秘密にしていたことがありまして、私はいわゆる余命わずかな状態なのです。